Hey everyone and welcome to another short tutorial. Today we'll be focusing on the light map resolution option within the UDK game editor. We'll load up two different scenes where we'll be able to compare how the resolution changes using both a high and low value when we implement it both into the BSP and the static mesh within our scene. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've built a BSP here with two static meshes sitting on top as well as a light mass importance volume and a standard spotlight. So currently this lighting build is not very good. The resolution is very low and the outcome just doesn't look too realistic at all. So we're going to fix that. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my content browser. I made a custom package here with just assets from UDK's game. I have a base material. I have the fence static mesh. I have a standard uh, brick floor material, a wall, and its material. So to make it simpler to see what's actually going on, I'm going to apply this material to the BSP and to the wall. Now that I have that, let's go ahead and look at some of the properties. In the BSP, if we click on F4 to open up the properties, we can see a light map resolution field here. And by default, I believe it's set to 32. It's a little bit confusing at first, but the lower that you go, the better the resolution. The higher you go, the worse the resolution. So currently at 32, the resolution is pretty bad. Now if I were to crank this down to, let's say five, and rebuild my lighting, and we can just leave it at medium for the moment, we can now see that the resolution on the BSP surface itself has greatly increased. We're actually getting some shapes here from the transparency of this fence. And we're getting some nice fall off and the overall resolution is just looking really nice. The next thing that I want to do is have the lighting that's being cast on this static mesh here to actually look more realistic. So to do that, I'm going to double click on my static mesh to open it up in the static mesh editor and we can see our light map resolution. Now in this case the lower you go the worse the quality and the higher you go the better the quality but you don't need to put it up to something like 1024 or 2048 because you'll probably be baking it for a couple of years but in this case we'll use something like 128 and normally 64 is good enough but we'll kind of over crank it so that we get some really prominent changes in the light map resolution. So now if I build this scene again, we can now see that the shadows are actually being calculated more correctly on the surface of this, of this mesh. Now, another important thing to note is, even though it might not look perfect whenever we have a base material applied, the textures themselves and the materials themselves will help to hide this and make it look more realistic and it'll be a nice blend between the two. So if I were to select my basic brick floor here and apply that to the BSP, we can now see that it's become more faint and subtle. So it really helps to retain that realism. Here I've added a different static mesh that will be casting a much broader shadow onto the wall static mesh, which will give us a better representation of how this effect will look. So I've removed my spotlight and I've added a dominant direct light. And we're going to recalculate this and see what it looks like after the shadows have been cast with low resolution compared to higher resolution. If I open up my static mesh wall here, you can see that I've reset my light map resolution to 32. So if I rebuild my lighting, you can now see that the shadow being cast on the BSP is pretty solidified but the shadow being cast on this static mesh seems to be lacking in resolution. It's blocky, there's weird gradients being created, and it just doesn't look too good. Now, this would probably be okay for some objects in game because once again, the blending between the material and the actual light would hide this effect a lot. So now if I open up my static mesh editor and change this to 128, and rebuild my lighting. We can now see a prominent change in the resolution. 
You can see his fingers curling and the orientation of his arm, as well as his nose and general silhouette of his face. So now what I'm going to do is take my materials and apply my brick. And we can now see that the blend has become even more solidified. It just looks really nice. And I'm going to take my wall material here and apply it. We can now see that the resolution of the map as well as the blending between materials really helps to create a solidified effect and a realistic lighting situation.